a contact form is the main way for your site visitors to get in touch with you. Thus, you should make sure that it collects all the information necessary for your business. All the contact form settings are available in the editor of your website. You can add a form as an element to an existing block by clicking on the plus sign and selecting it from the list of elements. You can also add a ready-made block with a contact form in it. For that, click on the plus icon in the editor. You'll land in the block library. Navigate to the call to action section and select a block there. Now let's set up your contact form. First, add a powerful call to action text in the heading. Next, click on the gear and add the fields that are relevant to you. This could be email, text, drop-down fields and others. We recommend making the most essential fields required. This way the contact form won't be submitted until the visitor fills them in. Now is a good time to decide what a form will do once it's submitted. The most common choice is to show the thank you message, but you can also create a separate thank you page and open it after the form is sent. In the style section you can design the form in a way that fits your overall site design. In the button subsection, you can change the text on the button and the button design. In the fields subsection, you can work on colors and borders. Finally, add the integrations where you'd like to receive the form replies. All the replies appear in the CRM automatically, but you can select a specific pipeline. If you'd like to connect other integrations, like email, make sure to turn them on in the list, then set them up in the site settings. You should access the form management tab, then the integrations section. Enter your email here and press enter. Now go back to the form and make sure that it's set to send replies to the relevant email. That's it. The contact form is set and ready to accept the requests.